Craig is probably the most selfless person in the world. He is so insanely smart, but he's very quiet and humble about that. An interesting fella who doesn't blow his own horn. He is service before self. He is so community driven. He cares about the broader community. He cares about what happens to Greenville as a whole. He uses his time, his talent, uh, his resources uh, to really give back to the community. He really truly leads with his heart and leads with passion knowing that what he does on behalf of so many others makes Greenville County what it is. He's invested his own time, money, and effort to see that uh, we become better than we are today. And nobody's pushing him or prodding him to do this. He's doing it, so he's doing it on his own. Extraordinary in terms of his vision. Uh, Craig acquired a baseball team, but he did much more than that for Greenville. I think we all need to grow up and be a little bit more like Craig Brown. Well, the drive came to Greenville in uh, actually the fall of 2004 when we were first introduced to the community. We uh, immediately you know, fell in love with the community as most people do. He has absolutely since day one been willing to roll up his sleeves to work at some of the issues we've been trying to tackle in Greenville, but he's also committed his personal dollars. I think that's just a testament to who Craig and Vicki are as individuals and their passion to improve the lives of those around them. You know, the hallmark of minor league baseball is its sense of community. It was that sense of community that attracted me to the industry. And we've really tried to build the Greenville Drive brand um, around that sense of community. We're very proud of the fact and the role that Floor Field has played in the I'll call it the, the renaissance of the West End. Building Floor Field and the stadium for the Greenville Drive and investing in the West End and all the growth that has come from that, but it's so much more than that. He invested in the community joining boards, leading organizations, and he treats Floor Field and the Greenville Drive not as just a for-profit business. It is about making an impact in Greenville. He opens the doors to Floor Field to United Way over and over again, and not just United Way, but so many organizations throughout our community. And, and he doesn't do it for profit. He does it because he cares so deeply about this community and, and just looks to make it better. I think it was 2010 or so, the Greenville News, in one of their editorial, um, they referred to Floor Field had become the front porch of the community. Quite honestly, if Floor Field had become the front porch of the community and where the community comes together to celebrate good things and also where the community comes together to shine a light on things that perhaps we can do better, I mean, that's exactly what we wanted to be. So um, we've really built our brand, built our business around being that front porch of the community. When he got involved with Ream, his thought process, his, his way of solving problems, his approach to the issues that we were facing here in Greenville has been enlightening and refreshing. He understands that Greenville County can't be at its best until it's at its best for everyone. And that includes people of color in our community. And when we launched our Race, Equity, and Economic Mobility Commission three and a half years ago, Craig was one of the first to say, I want to partner with the Chamber, with United Way, and the Urban League of the Upstate to do my part to ensure that we're changing the path. So the thing that I think I most admire about Craig is he's still relevant. He still has the initiative and the drive to invest, uh, invest in Greenville and the greater good for the upstate. And so it's just really nice that uh, people still value your input, your insights, and your guidance. That can be said wholeheartedly about Craig. I mean, it really, um, you know, almost, almost speechless. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, you get to my stage of career life, so to speak. I mean, you're, you're really looking for, for acceptance and uh, you know Greenville is our home Greenville is you know where we live we have five grandchildren you know here in Greenville and and to to be named um, you know the, the spirit winner it just it becomes you know kind of shows that you've been accepted by the community and not because of you know floor field and things like that but just for um, you know being an individual who cares who's always hopefully trying to do the right thing and and to to make an impact so it's it's very very 
meaningful uh, to me and especially during those kind of quiet moments when you kind of sit back and reflect on, uh, reflect on what really matters the most.